Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how to install Anaconda on Windows. Anaconda is a package manager, an environment manager, and Python distribution that contains a collection of many open source packages. This includes NumPy, Scikit-Learn, SciPy, and Pandas, to name a few. This tutorial will include how to download and install Anaconda on Windows, how to test your installation, how to fix common installation issues, and what to do after installing Anaconda. As always, feel free to ask questions either on the blog post or on the YouTube video page. With that, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to the Anaconda website and choose either a Python 3 or a Python 2 graphical installer. If you aren't sure which Python version you want to install, choose a Python 3 version. Click on download, locate your download. In my case, my file is located in my downloads folder. Ideally, you should open or run the file as administrator, as this can help alleviate some potential security issues. So I'm gonna right click, click on run as administrator, click yes, click on next, agree. I would recommend choosing just me, as this can alleviate some potential problems down the road. Make a note of your installation location and click on next. This next step is an important part of the installation process. In my case, I'm going to check the box because I want to be able to open Jupyter Notebooks through my command prompt. And I should note that if you don't check the box or you want to change your decision later on, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can either add Anaconda to your path variable and also how to remove Anaconda from your path environment variable. This next step can take some time, so I'm going to speed up the video and wait till it's done installing. Now that the installation says that it's complete, click on Next. You can install PyCharm if you like, but it is optional. Now click on Next. Click on Finish. Now that we've finished installing Anaconda, a good way to test our installation is to open a Jupyter Notebook and there's a couple different ways to do this. You can open a Jupyter Notebook through Anaconda Navigator. To do this, you can go to your Start menu, click on Anaconda Navigator, give it a second, on the home screen, Underneath Notebook, you can click on Launch. In my case, I want to open a Jupyter Notebook in my Documents folder. So I'll click on New, Python 3. And I'm going to do a quick hello world. And once you press shift plus enter, hello world will be outputted. Another way that you can open a Jupyter notebook is by using Anaconda prompt. And to do this, type in Anaconda prompt from here, type in Jupyter space notebook. Press enter. 
and this will launch a Jupyter Notebook. If you added Anaconda to your path, you can also open a Jupyter Notebook through your command prompt. To do this, type in command prompt, type in Jupyter space notebook. From here, you can open another Jupyter Notebook. If you didn't add Anaconda to your path environment variable and now want to, there's a way to do this. The first thing you have to do is open up command prompt to make sure that we don't have Anaconda in our path. If we do, then you don't need to add Anaconda to your path. As you see here, Jupyter is currently not a recognized internal or external command. So now let's go about solving this problem. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open an Anaconda prompt. We're gonna type in Anaconda, And what this does is this will tell us the location of where Conda is stored in our computer. Similarly, we'll type in where Python, and we'll see where Python is stored on our computer. It's important to keep note of all these locations. The next step in our process, we'll need them. The next step is to open our environment variables. Click on path, click on edit. And the next step, we're gonna add these locations to our path. Click on OK, and then open up another command prompt and type in Jupyter Notebook. I should note that this process is not always easy. In order to make this process easier for you, on the blog post, I have a bunch of common issues that people encounter when they try to install Anaconda. A few of them are things like Jupyter is not recognized. This is a path issue. Another potential issue is getting an environment not writable error. And I've detailed different ways to solve this. I know these sort of errors can be frustrating and sometimes they're not easy to solve. So if you have an issue, please leave your specified error in the comment section of the YouTube video or at the bottom of the blog post. With that, thank you very much for your time. If you've enjoyed this video, you can check out a couple other resources. I have resources on learning Python strings, lists, tuples, dictionaries, and if you have access to LinkedIn Learning, I would greatly appreciate it if you could take my data visualization using Python course. Thanks, bye.